you want to elongate it, just remember if you don't open it, you can't close it. You don't want to keep it short. Now what we're going to do is you're going to take your scapula, you're going to think shoulder blades and you're going to think elbows. Those are the two things. These are just hooks. You want to keep that grip as loose as you can without the bar flying out of your wing. You're not going to squeeze it for all your might. Okay? You're going to keep your hips down, take your shoulder blades, lift them up. Okay? Now pull your shoulder blades down and now circle your elbows. Now stop. Look where your elbow is and look where your hand is. You see how your elbow is behind your hand? You don't want that. So slide your ass up. I'm going to put my foot here and slide it there. Okay? Now bring them up. Elbows up. Scapula up. Pull down the scapula and sit right there. Okay? Lift. One. This comes first. This comes first. Squeeze it down. Now this comes second. Circle it out. Elbows, scapula, scapula, elbows. And you're going to lean forward slightly to make sure that your elbows stay under your hands. Pull one more. And stop there. Good. I'll put some weight on the best one you did. Do another one. Shoulder blades up. Open. 
open, open, and pull. Tell on your elbows. Open, circle your elbows. Open, really open it up. Don't let this come up. Good. When that goes down, drop your hip down a half inch. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. When that goes down, keep this down low. Just walk your spine. That's perfect. That's gorgeous. Round it off of here. That's beautiful. Go off of here. That's three. Four. Think of pulling from here. Round it. Five. Beautiful. Round it. Six. Bring the straight up to your belly. Round, 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 round. Seven. This stays loose. Eight, don't stop, round it, lengthen this. Now squeeze from here, nine, don't pop. That's only nine reps, you have no weight. Come on, 10. And then elbow circle out, go. Very nice, open this up, and circle. Open, squeeze, and circle. I, I know in the past with the other workouts you told me you were used to doing a lot more volume probably. It, it, again, it, it's not the volume, it's the quantity of what you do and you have to know the function of the muscle and what you're trying to accomplish. So the first thing we did was the pull downs. Okay? And again, I really believe in pulling through the lat and not pulling through the arm. You watch guys in here, now you'll know, if you remember the cues I gave you, elbow stay under the hand and elbow in line with that coronal plane. You watch nine out of ten guys do it, and they're not going to do it. Yeah. Where their elbow is going to be way behind their hand, never in line with their plane. So what they're actually doing is an angled form of humerus extension. They're extending the humerus, which is almost like a, a row, yeah. basically. So it's a big problem I see in a lot of bodybuilders is they don't have width. A lot of guys have nice thickness, but they don't have width. Because a lot of guys are coming here, and they're actually doing a row where no one's really tucking and isolating the lat. adduction of the humerus. Okay. And adduction of the humerus has to circle down in line with what's called the coronal plane coming towards the hip bone. Okay? So make sure you're mentally focusing. When you do your pull down, it's as if you're doing a front double bicep. Okay? My hand is under my elbow, and it's in line with the side of my body, which is the coronal plane. Okay? So that's what we did there. But again, releasing by letting the scapula lift up, you will feel the lat all the way from the hip go up. And that's another big problem I see in a lot of local guys now. I'll be there in a minute, is they don't have lower lats. Some guys will have some nice upper lats, and a lot of times they're doing kip pull-ups, and they're working a lot of the upper, but no one's really elongating the lat to work the bottom. Can you elongate the lat? Well, kind of not. You know, genetically you got what you got, but you can work a certain part of the lat. And the bottom of the lats, like Mike, we... You worked with some scapular depression so we can feel your lat engage. Your lat was hard, your lat was hard, your lat was hard, and it got soft, you know, at the bottom. Because yeah, yeah. you haven't engaged that muscle or that part of the muscle before okay. or not in a long time, if you ever did. So that's why we did that. After that, I really want to elongate that, okay? So we're going to tuck the elbows in and come up. Let the scapula lift and really try to work towards the bottom of the lat. So again, you're now doing, again, it's humerus extension. But you're not doing humor extension behind the coronal plane. You're doing it in front of the coronal plane. So it's going to work a little more towards the lower bottom of your lap. That's why we did that. Then we did our two rowing movements. I'm assuming on the cable row, that was probably lighter than you've done. It was like 42 pounds. But you were still kind of feeling it. 
But when I did it, I was doing it and talking to you like it was nothing because I've been doing it that way for a very long time. So you did 42 pounds isolating a part of your back where most people will put on 120 mm -hmm. pounds and they'll come off the hip yeah. where they're actually working their hamstrings, going into their spinal erectors, and then pulling in with the biceps. That's the way I always done it too. So. I know, but again, but if you told me, hey, Stu, I want to work my hamstrings, I want to <laughs> work my spinal erectors, I want to work my back and my biceps, then cool, put 120 and rock and roll. Yeah. But that's not what we're trying to do. We're going to fry your hamstrings when we do leg day. I don't want you to do it here. And it was the same thing on your hyperextensions. When I see people do hyperextensions, or this is really called hip extension, are you doing hip extension or are you doing spinal extension? To so someone that doesn't know, they don't know the difference. So I can go on that hyperextension board and I can do hip extension. My spine won't move. My spine will be this straight, okay? But at my hip bone, I can pivot down and pivot up. So I can pivot down and pivot up, pivot down and pivot up, but my spine never moves. That's gonna be all hamstring. That's extreme hip extension. But what you did was, you isolated your belly button to the machine, okay? Now you can't come off the hip. You have to round your spine and come up through the spine. So we didn't do hip extension pivoting through the hip, we did spinal extension, rounding the spine and then extending the spine, rounding the spine and extending the spine. And that's gonna work your spinal erector muscles. Okay, so that's why we did that. Uh, then the upper back, and again, you have really, really nicely developed traps. Uh, do you shrug often or not? Uh, yeah, you got good traps. You know, a lot of it's probably, if you leaned back and then did a row, you probably did a lot of I traps. Know, like behind the next step too, would that help at all? Or? That's gonna work the bottom of your trap, not your top, okay? Again, when the elbow comes back, or when it, sometimes it makes the scapula raise, anything that makes your scapula go up are gonna work your upper trap. Your upper traps look pretty good, so you may be just doing that inadvertently, yeah. you know, through rowing. But now we wanna work the middle, okay? So we wanna take the elbows, lift them out, and squeeze the two shoulder blades together. Right? Okay. Now when you do rear delt, your shoulder blade shouldn't move at all. You don't want the shoulder blades to move at all, you wanna isolate that deltoid, versus squeezing the shoulder blades together, okay? That's why we did that movement. Then we did the pullovers. Pullovers work to open up the rib cage. Again, your scapula are gonna rotate and move, and that's gonna work some serratus muscle, which is great too. One of the nicest serratus when I was a kid was Rocky III. So that's just going on with like fingers, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a really cool muscle. So we can work some of that with the pullovers is good. That's all you need to do. Awesome. That's all you need to do. But again, we can alternate. Well, one day you can do it on a cable row. One day you can do it on a machine row. One day you can do it on a bent over barbell row. Yeah. But you really want to do like one elbow tight row. You want to do one elbow wide row. You want to do your wide pull down. You can do your close. That is okay. beyond more than enough. Okay. Beyond more than enough. It may even be overkill. We have to see how sore you get. Okay. Especially if you really elongated and let your scapula raise, you make those stew, that's really fucking sore because that may be a part of your life that never worked. Sure. So we look at that. I'm going to meet us. All right, Stu, thank All you. Right. All right, we'll touch base tomorrow. Yep. Okay. Thank you.